Hello, Gary Smith here. Many companies struggle with defining the opportunity stages they should use in Salesforce. And yet, as you'll have seen in my other videos, it's so important to get this right. In this video, I'll explain the six opportunity stages used by many of our B2B customers. Let's see if they apply in your business. Let's not beat about the bush. Here are the six stages. Prospecting. Some people prefer qualifying, but I'll explain why I think prospecting is slightly better. Discovery. Some people prefer needs analysis, but I'll explain why I think discovery is the better term. Customer evaluating. And I'll explain why I think that's slightly better than proposal or proposal sent. Closing. Very often people use negotiation. But again, I think closing is better for reasons that I'll explain. Closed one and closed lost. And of course, there might be variations of closed lost, qualified out or no purchase, for example. I'll talk about those as well. I'll walk you through each stage, explain the definition and describe the exit criteria that define when an opportunity is ready to move from one stage to the next. So let's start. Prospecting. These deals are in the first stage of your sales process. Opportunities in this stage represent your long-term pipeline. Often you think there's a deal, but right now it's far from certain. Probably the customer hasn't yet committed to a timescale or a budget. And of course, the close date is far from certain and maybe many months in the future. Often the customer, if you were to ask them, might not even agree that a potential deal exists. That's because you're busy educating the stakeholders on how the status quo needs to change. So a lot of uncertainty. Nevertheless, you think there's an opportunity. Of course, in many companies, these deals aren't entered into the pipeline and salespeople can be reluctant to create opportunities. In part, that's because there's so much uncertainty about the deal. And I get that. But nevertheless, I believe it's important to keep track of this very early stage pipeline. You need to make sure you continue to nurture and develop the relationships and eke out that opportunity. Of course, you can always filter out these deals from the reports and dashboards that report on the pipeline size. Now, what about the exit criteria? I recommend there are four questions to ask about deals in the prospecting stage. Is there an opportunity? Can we win it? Is it worth winning? Do we want to win it? You might think questions three and four sound similar, but nevertheless, they are different. Is it worth winning is an economic question. Are the revenue and the margin worth the cost and the effort? Do we want to win it is a strategic question. Existing customer relationships or market dynamics may give a compelling reason to attempt to win the deal. These factors may apply even if it's not that attractive economically. Now, currently, you may not be able to answer these questions definitively. That doesn't matter. But there does need to be enough information to decide whether it's worth moving to the next opportunity stages. Incidentally, I prefer the term prospecting rather than qualifying for opportunities at this stage. The reason is qualifying should be a continuous activity through the sales life cycle. It's not a one off step early in the sales process. You should be requalifying all the way through either way. Many opportunities at the prospecting stage will be removed from the pipeline at this stage. That's fine. Don't waste time with deals that you can't qualify confidently. Now, what about the next stage? Discovery. The traditional way to think about this stage is you're finding out about the customer's business needs. You're aiming to align your proposal or quote with what the customer wants. However, the 
best salespeople go way beyond this. They are not passively listening to the customer. Instead, they are often directly influencing or changing how the customer perceives their needs. For example, this activity is widespread in cases where the customer plans to issue an RFP. You want to bend the content of the RFP to align with your products and services. But likewise, high performing salespeople also find out about many other factors that influence their chances of a successful outcome. They are asking questions about the decision making process, gathering information about the people involved. They also gain vital details about budget, time scale, competitors, and so on. That's why I prefer the term discovery to needs analysis because it better describes what is happening in a successful sales process. Finally, in this stage, re-ask the qualification questions as your exit criteria. You must now be able to answer those questions with more conviction. If your answers are not compelling, remove the deal from your pipeline or continue for a period in the discovery stage, influencing the stakeholders and conducting some of those other activities that we talked about. Now, what about the next stage? Customer evaluating, or if you prefer, proposal sent or proposal. This is where you send your proposal or quote to the customer. That's not necessarily a formal document, of course. It could be an email. Either way, you're making specific proposals in terms of products, prices, services, and so on. And your customer is evaluating the proposal. I'm okay with calling it proposal made or such like. It's just that I believe customer evaluating more accurately reflects the proactive influencing and communicating you're likely to be doing at this point. For example, the stage might include demos, reference visits, presentations, and similar activities. In terms of the exit criteria, you're looking for a firm commitment that the customer intends to do business with you, in principle at least. There may be many detail points to iron out, but you have an agreement on the main commercial arrangements. And you have a detailed close plan agreed with the customer. The close plan is important. It sets out the activities that will take place on both sides to bring the deal to a conclusion and get ink on the contract. And I emphasize the close plan is agreed with the customer and I recommend documented in Salesforce. If that's all good, we can move to the final stage, closing. Many companies use negotiating here. Again, that's okay, but I have two issues. First, the term implies we are likely to concede on key commercial points, so I think negotiating sets the wrong tone. But the other point is that negotiating doesn't describe the full range of activities that probably need to take place to finalize the deal. Very often that's more than just talking and agreeing the contract. There are other customer facing and internal activities that need to take place. And I think closing is a better way to encapsulate those activities. The first exit criteria is probably self-explanatory. You've got a signed contract, but you might want to specify other criteria, for example, a handover from sales to support, a detailed discovery plan, or whatever is relevant in your business. By the way, it's a good idea to use the lightning path in Salesforce to record the definition of each stage and capture those exit criteria. So if we have those things in place, we can move the opportunity to closed one. Incidentally, if you have fulfillment activities or project delivery stages after winning the deal, I recommend you track those in a separate field other than the opportunity stage. Don't clutter the opportunity stage. Of course, we don't win every deal. That's why we have closed lost. And optionally, if you want, you could have several other values that record versions of closed lost, qualified out, for example, or no purchase, where the customer doesn't buy from you or anyone else for that matter. 
So they are the opportunity stages that many of our customers use. Remember, you don't have to use them verbatim. Instead, think of them as a template for defining the stages that are best suited for your business. Now, don't forget, you can ask for a free 30-minute consultation with me or a member of my team, and we will help you with any aspect of opportunity stages in your business. So fill in the form for that today. I'm Gary Smith. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.